Well, Friday morning, once again, uh, time for Bobcat Central with uh, Ashley Washburn. Uh, bye week uh, can be a real positive thing. Uh, what do we know about the Bobcats coming out of this week off? A little different on the roster than they were going into it. Yeah, definitely a lot of changes on the depth chart this week. But So definitely a week that you, you know, take those two weeks, get mm -hmm. people healthy, get them ready for this last couple stretch of this season. And then the other big part was special teams was a really big thing they focused on these last two weeks. Weaver State game wasn't necessarily very pretty to watch. There mm -hmm. were, you know, you have a punt return, kick return that was given up. And so they spent this time trying to put guys in different positions, spread out the field a little bit, figuring out what could we do best with the special teams to really help eliminate, eliminate those going forward. Because, you know, when you get into that Cat Grizz and playoffs, those are plays that you can't give up. Right. So they've done that, and they also they did some position battles as far as, you know, what those special teams units are going to look like. So not that a common fan would see that up in the stands, but it will look a little bit different this Saturday. Yeah, and, and you're in a tough spot in your schedule. Good place for the bye week as I yes. see it. But you, you, you had all the challenges of Eastern. You have all the challenges mm -hmm. of Weber State. And then you've got NAU, Cal Poly, then the Grizz. You can't play the Grizzly game yet. You still have to play those other two teams, and specifically this weekend, you have to play Northern Arizona in Northern Arizona. You can't let up. No, and you can look forward and be like, oh, wow, we're going to play for that Big Sky Championship mm -hmm. on Cat Grizz, but you're only playing for that Big Sky Championship if you beat NAU mm -hmm. and if you beat Cal Poly. And so, yes, you look at that schedule, and they're 3-5 and five right now, and they've maybe, you know, they've only won two games in the Big Sky Conference right now. But the hard part with them is they've had such an injury bug that has been in their locker room the past couple of years. And they've had back-to-back -back top Big Sky recruiting classes. So they have the talent. The issue is that they don't have the capability to play that talent right now because mm. they've been injured. And so, yeah, they're going into NAU. But if there's anything that Montana State is really but like spoke on this week is it's not easy to play in the Sky Dome. They're playing at 7,000 feet elevation. If teams think it's played hard to play here in Bozeman at 4,000 feet, well, let's add an extra 3,000 feet in there. And you've got kind of it's a steep, steep dome. You've got mm -hmm. fans on top of you. It gets loud in there. And mm -hmm. R.J. Fitzgerald, one of the only seniors that's actually played in that dome, was really, you know, he was very vocal on Monday this week saying, yeah, it's not an easy place to play. And Obviously, Montana State wasn't able to get it done last time they were down there, so mm. you're, they're hoping to get it done this Saturday for sure. It, it, it's a weird road trip, too. Mm -hmm. You're flying into Phoenix. Flying into Phoenix. Well, actually, no. Flying into Flagstaff. You now. are flying into Flagstaff yes. now. Yeah, that used, yeah, yeah. that used to be a real challenge. Yeah, that used to be a real challenge. I was talking to Garrett Becker earlier this week, and he was saying before they had to fly into Phoenix because they didn't have their equipment truck mm -hmm. at the time, and because of how short the runway is and how heavy mm -hmm. that plane would be, they'd have to get a bigger runway to do right. it down in Phoenix. So thankfully, no, they're flying into Flagstaff. That's so great. that will definitely make the travel a little bit easier. Well, it is because it's yes. a two hour bus trip after you've been mm -hmm. on a flight. So that made it always a really interesting challenge. Yeah. So this will be the first time then, I think since, since we've done it, since the last time we were down there. Yeah, we I'm actually not 100% sure if they did that in 2017. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. so no, that'll make it a lot easier, that's, that's for sure. <laughs> so our team will be there. You'll be broadcasting the game for us on the CW we this weekend? We will be there. Uh, two o'clock kickoff Mountain Time. Arizona's on that weird deal where mm -hmm. they're still on Standard Time, Pacific Time. Obviously, that'll change on Sunday when Just the clocks go hours backward. After the game. I know, the <laughs> clocks are all confusing. But yeah, 2 o'clock kickoff Mountain Time. It will be on uh, the Montana Television Network. It's kind of depending on different mm -hmm. markets that you're in. But in Bozeman and Butte, if you're watching, it's going to be on the CW Montana. So That's fantastic. 2 o'clock kickoff, it's going to be a fun one down in Flagstaff. And... You know, you're just hoping that you're going to get these next three games in their bag and Big Sky Championship at road, the end of this. Road trip, road trip, Grizzlies at home. Yes. Well, we'll it's going to be an insane. And another big, really big, big, big game to look at this week mm -hmm. is Weber State and Sacramento State. Oh, yeah. Sacramento State undefeated in the Big Sky, but they're playing in Ogden, Utah. Mm -hmm. And a couple of those big games that they've had have all been in Sacramento. So they're getting out of their comfort element. I believe that's a 1 or 2 o'clock kickoff as well. But definitely a game that you're going to want to have on a different television if you can look at it because if Weber State can pull out that win – and Montana State can win out. They have sole control of that Big Sky Championship. That's it. Well, safe travels, and we'll uh, catch up with you after Flagstaff as uh, we get ready for Cal Poly. It's going to be a fun one. All right, Ash, thank you very much. Uh, that's this edition of uh, Bobcat Central. We're going to take a break. We come back. Much more headlines. <laughs>